Praise the Lord. This is Charles Adebola's Ministries, a ministry that has the mandate from the Almighty God to bring you the message and the power of the Holy Spirit in the areas of deliverances, healings, and miracles. Today we want to continue the series of teachings and ministrations on deliverance. And today I want to share with you a very important topic. I've titled this message, Interpretation of Common Dreams. Your dreams are very significant. Your dreams are extreme of the things taking place in the spirit realm. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 33, verses 14 to 15, that God has spoken once, yea, twice, but man did not regard it, and that God speaks through dreams. In Genesis chapter 40, verses 7 to 20, was a, a very important incident. Joseph was cast into prison, and two of Pharaoh's servants were also cast into the prison with him. And over the night, the two servants of Pharaoh that were prisoners, they had a dream. The first person that narrated his dream was the butler. And Joseph interpreted the dream to him, and the dream interpretation was good. The second person that had the dream was the chief baker. And Joseph also interpreted the dream to him, but the dream was not good. Three days later, later their dreams came to pass. Interpretation of your dreams are very, very significant. Today I want to share with you some dreams, common dreams, and their interpretation. Uh, they could be dreams you have had before, and they could be dreams you have never had before. But in case you need interpretation of your dreams, you can give me a chat or give me uh, a phone call on this number, plus 234-9059270030. So let me begin by sharing with you some common dreams and their interpretation. What is the interpretation of when someone has a dream and the person is riding a horse in a public place and a crowd is surrounding that person. This is the interpretation. The interpretation implies that you are going to have a great promotion and you are going to have an unusual prosperity. Wow! May that be your experience in Jesus' name. May you experience great promotion. May you experience unusual prosperity. When you have this kind of dream, you can back it up with these scriptures and use it to pray. Isaiah chapter 45, verses 1 to 3. Isaiah chapter 54, verses 3. Then the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 2. Another kind of common dream that you need to know the interpretation is when you have a dream of washed bitter leaves. If the bitter leaf is already washed, what is the meaning of the kind of that kind of dream? This dream is a good one. It's a dream that has the interpretation that the Lord is putting an end to every bitterness in your life. Wow! As the Lord God lives, if I be the servant of the Lord, I do decree that the Lord will put an end to every bitter experience in your life, in Jesus' mighty name. When you have this dream also, use these scriptures to pray. Exodus chapter 15, verses 23 to 26. Another kind of dream that is very significant and that is very common that people have is when you have a dream and you saw the number seven. You dreamt and all you saw in the dream was the number seven. The number seven, what is the interpretation of that dream? The interpretation of that dream is that the Lord will perfect every plans that are ahead of you. Wow, praise God. And there are plans ahead of you regarding your destiny, regarding a journey you want to take, regarding your marital life, regarding your business, your education. 
When you have this kind of dream and you saw number seven, it implies the Lord will perfect everything about those plans. Use this scripture to pray. The book of Psalm chapter 138 and Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Wow. Another kind of dream, and listen to this one, another kind of dream and interpretation is when one dreams mm, and one is being beaten by the dog on the hand. One is being beaten by the dog on the hand. This kind of dream is not good. Just last week, somebody gave me a chat and the person narrated his dream was giving me a chat for the first time just like you too can give me a chat you can give me a full call to narrate your dream you can do it on this number plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero the the number is on the screen and so this person gave me a chat that he had a dream in his dream he was beaten by a dog on his right hand and almost immediately he began to feel feverish, he began to have body temperature, and he began to feel as if life was going out of him. And that was how he went through the internet, just like we are doing now, and he stumbled on my number to give me a call. I interpreted the dream to him, and I also prayed for him. To the glory of God, he was instantly healed. I know God is about to do something similar in your life. You will get delivered. You will get healed from whatever negative dreams you are having. So the interpretation of this dream, when you dream and you find that a dog is, has beaten your hand, is an interpretation that hmm, diabolical, occultic, fetish people, witchcraft, they are planning to attack a person. That will not be your portion. In Jesus' mighty name, use the scriptures to pray. One of my favorite scriptures is Numbers 23, 23, the book of Psalm 115, verses 14 to 15, the same book of Psalm 125, verses 3. Hmm. Another kind of very common dream, you need to know the interpretation, is when you find yourself eating in your dream. That is, you slept and in your dream, you will serve some dishes or you were the one even asking for food and you find yourself eating in dream. This kind of dream is not good at all. It has so many interpretations. But one of the interpretations is the enemy is attempting to poison that person. Some years ago, a pastor friend of mine narrated his experience to me. It was in his dream he was given something to eat and he ate it. He woke up into life and he had severe stomach ulcer, which lingered for weeks, for months, indeed, for years. That is to tell you dreams are very important. Don't ever ignore your dream. The Holy Spirit is speaking to me that there are some dreams you have been having that needs interpretation. Immediately after you have watched this video, you need to give me a chat, you need to give me a call on that number plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero then i will interpret the dream to you and also pray deliverance prayer for you so when you have the dream and you find yourself eating in your dream you can use these scriptures to pray matthew chapter 15 verse 13 matthew chapter 18 verse 18 wow then another kind of dream you can have and, the, and its interpretation is when you have a dream and uh, you caught an elephant. Wow, this one is a good dream. You have a dream, you caught an elephant. What is the meaning of this kind of dream? It implies that there is a major breakthrough ahead of you and you will succeed big. Wow, in Jesus' name, that will be your portion. When you have this kind of dream, use this scripture to pray. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 isaiah chapter 54 verse 3 deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12 
Now, another kind of dream again, and the interpretation of that dream, is when you find yourself climbing a staircase. I mean, climbing a staircase and you are going very fast. The meaning of this dream, it's a good dream, is that you are going to have rapid progress and promotion. Use this scripture to pray for it. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Then Psalms chapter 71, verse 21. Now, if you need further counseling, prayers, deliverance, ministrations, interpretation of your dreams, I've told you to give a chat or a call on this number, plus 2349059270030. Indeed, add that number straight ahead on your WhatsApp, because every day, by the grace of God, we do send out devotional materials, audio broadcasts that will be of edification, that will strengthen you in the faith. I want to pray for you, wherever you are. Shall we pray? Almighty God, thank you because of all my viewers, of all my listeners, Father in heaven, I do ask that by this audio, video recording, you will bless that man, you will bless that woman, and let there be a turning point. Every good dream this person has had, let there be a fulfillment in Jesus' name. And every negative dream, let this person be delivered in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.